Hey guys, I'm bringing you my first support video. I have a few friends and family members that are playing Bard recently, and I, I really love Bard. I feel like he's the strongest support in the game, but I feel like he's misunderstood a lot, so I wanted to make this video and share my philosophies with you, and hopefully it will help you play a really good Bard game and help you climb ELO and carry it with them. So, with that all in mind, I like Bard a lot. I feel like he's a global support, meaning I like to support multiple people with him, roaming mid and bottom. I like to start off the game, for example, with putting healing shrines in mid lane. That way, when you're at bottom, you're also supporting mid at the same time, and vice versa. When I leave bottom, I like to make sure there's the maximum amount of healing shrines possible, leaving two, sometimes even three bottom, and then roaming mid. So that way, when I'm actually leaving the lane, I'm not really, really fully leaving. So that's really key. If you start roaming without it, then you're kind of losing a little bit of your advantage because they, they build up and they last forever and they're really really strong and bard is not very mana efficient so it forces you to roam and so it's really good to prepare yourself for that roaming time now with that being said i don't think bard is a sustained champion when it comes to laning if you wanted that you should play raka you should play sona you should play nami but if you stay in lane the entire time you aren't a man efficient, you don't have sustained healing, you don't have sustained damage, you can't even sustain your mana, so how can you stay in lane? You're just roaming to collect a couple of shrines and coming right back, you're not taking full advantage of his passive. His passive allows you to get movement, it kind of incentivizes you to roam, so we're talking about maximizing that, so I like to get movement speed out of my runes, I like to get movement speed out of my masteries, so that way I minimize the downtime, I like to get boots and mobility. That's really the only three things that I will talk about for when it comes to that kind of setup. The rest, item builds, the rest master uh, of the other masteries and, and runes, I don't care what you do. He doesn't have great AP scaling, and so for that reason, if you want to go AP, by all means, it won't make a big difference. You'll do more heals, you'll do more instant burst damage. That's always good. If you want to go AD because you want to just make sure you, you hit harder, sure, that's fine. I don't care. If you want to go Utility, if you want to go Raleigh's Crystal Scepter, you want to get uh, Crucible, you want to get Ages, all this stuff I don't care about. Personally, I like to get Ages, I like to get Crucible, because I like to support to the maximum all my other people. I want to make sure they don't die, specifically my carries. And I don't care if I get Seeks, for example, throwing that onto my AP carry. I don't care if it's on my, my AD carry. I'm just supporting whoever's going to carry this game. That's the nice thing about Bard. I'm going to have as much global presence as possible and just let them actually carry. I'm going to get them into a position where they can carry. Now with that being said, Bard's abilities all have multi-uses. So his Q straight out is a slow. If you hit the wall behind them, then it's going to stun them. If you hit two people, it's going to stun them. If you hit a person and a creep, it's going to stun them. If you throw your heal out, like mentioned, it's going to heal them. Obviously, if you let it build up, it's going to heal for even more. But if you end up throwing it under their feet, it can help them get away. Uh, and it can save their life. If you use your magical journey, you can use it to close the gap. You can use it to disengage. You can use your magical journeys to bait them into even a tower dive, which they weren't fully anticipating. You can use it to bait them into getting them closer to the wall because you will travel faster than your opponents in your magical journey, especially as you level up your magical journey higher and higher. Uh, it's a really, really good all-around ability. Your all can use as an engage, a long rage engage. You can use as a disengage. You can also use your all to interrupt towers. You can use it to interrupt your opponent's combos. It has multi-purposes. And so when you have a champion like that, that it really doesn't matter about your character build. You can build according to your play style. And you have a champion that you can really, really play multi-strategies. It allows you to really be unpredictable, allows you to provide the most amount of utility to yourself and your team, and you can really change it up to your playstyle. The one thing I do mention, though, going back to the start, is the mobility. He has so much about him that incentivizes him to roam, and you shouldn't lose out that time to roam because you're not taking advantage of that. And so that's what I really like about Bard. You can win the game for your team by setting up people to, to win their lanes 
and support multiple people at the same time. I hope that video is helpful. I hope uh, you liked it. If you disagree, please let me know in the comments. If you like it, please like the video or dislike the video. Uh, let me know what you think and let me know what you think the next video should be. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. <laughs> wow.